Good day, everyone. We are the Group 2A from the College of Nursing, Section B and 3A. I am Henriette Jane De Leon, and together with my colleagues, Cesar De La Banda, Mariel De La Torre, Anika De Mata, and Sarah Despues, are going to present our research study entitled The Level of Performance Among Medical Surgical Ward Nurses During the COVID-19 Pandemic. Nurse expertise is in crucial need during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to Dubius et al. 2013, the nursing care performance can be characterized as the ability to display by the organizations or entities for the acquisition and sustained use of care delivery to effectively improve care for patients. Many factors affect the nurse performance. However, the researchers focus on relating it to their demographic profiles, age, sex, years of service, highest educational attainment, and nurse-patient ratio. The study aimed to provide data about the relationship between nurse-patient ratio and overall performance of the nurse during the COVID-19 pandemic. For the benefit of future and already employed nurses, the data may help other facilities and institutions understand the importance of balanced workforce in rendering quality care to patients and the effect on recovery phase of the patients. Conducting this research was relevant in establishing a strategic plan to enhance effective care and services in health facilities such as recognizing own strengths and weaknesses in individual nurses. For the methods, the study was a descriptive correlational research that have gathered a total of 48 participants that were nurses from Hospital A, B, and C, assigned in a medical surgical area with a minimum sample size of greater than and equal to 30. The study used a researcher-made survey via online entitled The Level of Nurse Performance, which includes and evaluated the three set of skills of nurses, the clinical teaching skill, planning and evaluation skill, the professional and ethics skill. The researcher used a five-point Likert scale to measure the level of nurse performance. Also, Good and Skate's validity test was also applied, having three validators to ensure and certify the effectiveness of the survey with mean score of three, 3.77, and four, which was interpreted as good and very good. And Kronbach's alpha test was also applied with a score of 0 0.93 that was interpreted as a high reliability. The results of the study are as followed using frequency distribution and chi-square tests of independence. For the demographic profiles, 12.5% or a frequency of six of the respondents was comprised of male registered nurses and 87.5% or a frequency of 42 are female. It is observed that majority of the participants with 79.2% or a frequency of 38 were, were each handling five to eight patients for age, 44 nurses were young adults. In terms of years of service, 20 had five years and above of, of experience. For highest educational attainment, most of them achieved bachelor's degree in nursing. Most participants grouped into the different profile variables answered always in the survey with a mean percentage of 81.29%, which carried out the following performances in the entire time during a shift. As seen on the table chi-square according to the degrees of freedom, the critical value was P is less than 0 0.05. All key values of each demographic profile were not less than 0 0.05. Hence, there were no significant relationship between their demographic profiles and their level of performance. After the results have been gathered, it was identified that majority of the participants under different categories have answered always in the different set of skills and capabilities stated in survey and with only a small scale percentage of the population responded usually. Profile variables with p-values ranging from 0 0.101 to 0 0.7361 show that profile variables are not significant. Hence, these variables were not abundant indicators to determine the level of performance of nurses during the COVID-19 pandemic.
The following are recommendations aimed to continue and support the guidance for the nature of nursing services and the continuous growth of nurse performance regardless of the nurse's profile variables. For hospital administrations, they may consider the implementation and training of training services programs it might look into obtaining the feedback and updates from their supervisors. Nursing service department may focus on guidance or reminders with regards to planning and evaluation skills of the staff nurses. Nurses may create an effective plan for delivery of care that ensures efficient patient care and improve the safety and quality of care. For future researchers, they may consider to manage and conduct a broader scope of the study that explains to which extent the research area will be explored. And lastly, for nursing students, they may be encouraged to work on their performance skills at the earliest opportunity. You can find our references in scanning our QR code. May you have learned something from our study which is very relevant and timely to our situation. Thank you, good day, stay safe, and God bless.